Nothing beats a nice cruise vacation. We're looking for us. We're looking for Joe Carlo. Recently, the news about Royal Caribbean launching their new plant-based menu dropped, which is huge news, especially for me as a shareholder, because with the growing number of the population all going plant-based, this will help significantly increase their audience, which is really exciting. I recently had the opportunity to try out the new plant-based menu on our family reunion cruise I just went on, on the Royal Caribbean Mariner of the Seas. So today I'll be going over a review of how the plant-based menu was, and I'll give a general portfolio update on how my Royal Caribbean stocks are doing. So make sure to stay tuned and watch until the end. Vegan food on a cruise ship? Who would have thought? What's up guys? It's your boy Chris here with another episode of the Lifestyle Design Show. The number one place where young adults can learn lifestyle design and personal finance. I post new videos every single week so make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am just a 20 year old who's really excited about this cruise news and I wanna give you an end of semester portfolio update about the company that I made my very first video on. So if you didn't know, at the beginning of this semester, I bought $1,000 worth of Royal Caribbean stock. Actually, it was a little less because I didn't quite have enough in my account. <laughs> And that's why this Royal Caribbean news is really exciting because as a shareholder, this news will affect the company and affect my share price. So if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure to go ahead and watch it. It's an awesome video. I actually shoot it on location on the cruise ship and it's my first video ever. So make sure to go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it yet. So the really cool thing is I was able to test out the new vegan menu and see a lot of the new renovations on our recent family reunion cruise. This was awesome because I really care about this company and I really care about the news and what's going on with it. And so having this family reunion cruise, I was able to see the tangible changes on the cruise line and for the company as a whole. So the ship that we were on was the Mariner of the Seas. This is a recently renovated ship, over $120 million renovation, which is pretty big. That's an insane renovation. And Royal Caribbean has been doing these renovations for a lot of their ships. Recently, their Oasis ship, it's a $165 million renovation. So Royal Caribbean is not not stopping these renovations. If anything, they're just pumping up the amount of renovations they're doing on their ship so that they can continue to stay cutting edge and luxury in the cruise landing industry. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure to drop this video a like since I am shooting in the wilderness and uh, I might get ant bites. So drop this video a like to help me not scratch my ant bites. So now uh, is the question you all been wondering. How was the vegan menu? I'll give them an A for effort. I will say that the vegan menu was closer to a B minus. Um, overall, the food was interesting and it was amazing that they had it, but some of the dishes just didn't taste quite right. There's gooses. I'll go ahead and do a breakdown of everything I had. So on the first night, I had a ciabatta salad with cherry tomatoes and basil, and that was really good. You can't really get a tomato salad wrong. I also had a tortilla soup, and every night they had a plant-based soup, but their tortilla soup was by far my favorite. I love the tortilla soup. The rest of the soups weren't that good, but we'll get to it in a second. Hey look, a pine cone. I also had a no egg omelet and a vegan spaghetti bolognese style. The omelet was pretty good. The spaghetti was really good too, but I, not gonna lie, it was so good that I didn't think it was actually plant-based. I had to ask over and over, like, excuse me, ma'am, are you sure that this is vegan? And she's like, yes, this, that's what you ordered. And I'd be like, but are you sure? <laughs> I asked three times, but it was really delicious. And then for dessert, there was a toffee cheesecake with dark chocolate and peanut butter crust. So I can't say that was all that good. It was kind of grainy, which is the thing. But I mean, they still had it, which was cool. The second night I had a corn fritter with mint sauce. It was okay. The mint sauce was kind of weird. Interesting idea. I could see where they were going with it. For the main entree I had a penne pasta with cauliflower. And then for dessert that night I had a lemon tart. Um, the pasta was a little bland but it was okay. And then the dessert was again a little weird. On the last night which was my favorite night by far. I had a vegetable tempura which was like fried eggplant and fried, it was like fried, fried eggplant and fried zucchini. And it was actually really good. There's also the butternut squash curry, which was pretty weird. Not a big fan of that one. 
Um, there was the cream broccoli soup, which was also kind of weird. Um, which, you know, I'm a big soup guy, so I don't know why I didn't like these soups that much. And I'm not picky at all, by any means. They're just a little bland. For the main entree, which was probably the best meal of the entire cruise, was the vegan eggplant burger, which was really good. I mean, it wasn't as good as like a Beyond Burger or a Black Bean Burger even, but I still really appreciate it. It came in like a big bun, um, and I really enjoyed it. And then for dessert, for the last night, oh, the dessert, this dessert was the only dessert that I liked, and it was so good. It was so good. It was vegan creme brulee, and I'm not gonna lie, I've never actually had real creme brulee. So it was a really big treat for me to actually try creme brulee and enjoy this meal. Um, so overall, I have to say, I'm really happy that Royal Caribbean has this vegan menu. It makes me more inclined as a cruiser to choose Royal Caribbean. I do have to say that the vegan menu does get a B minus for me, unfortunately. Um, again, they get an A for effort, but the food overall was closer to a B minus because some of the meals were a little bland and they could use a bit of improvement. I encourage Royal Caribbean to continue to grow this vegan menu because I think it'll get them a lot more business than they even expect. Recently being named the best cruise line by Cruise Critic, having this new plant-based menu, among other things, like all their really big renovations, this company is looking better and better to me as the luxury cruise lining industry is just increasing in popularity. I recently read an article on Barron's which said that the Royal Caribbean stock could jump 40% in the next two to five years. And as a long-term investor, I've been saying that I think this company holds a lot of value. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm gonna do a portfolio update to share how my, a little less than $1,000 of stock, Royal Caribbean stock, how it's doing, and to see if it was a good investment after about a semester. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. What's up? <laughs> that was Michael. <laughs> This is my first time ever really vlogging like this, so if you guys enjoy this style of video, make sure to drop a like and let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos like this. So my Royal Caribbean stock has actually had a really good run. When I first bought it, I'm not gonna lie, the stock was actually down quite a bit. Every day, I was consistently down about three or 4%, which was around $50 that I was losing, and every day I would see that and I would be really sad. I was like, wow. This was not a great investment. I held out strong, I didn't get scared, I didn't sell out, and over the course of this last semester, the last three or four months, the stock has done really well. It's had a really nice run up for the past three months. So now my portfolio for the Royal Caribbean stock is up about 12% which is really, really awesome. I really believed this company was gonna have a nice run up. I really thought it was undervalued. So it's nice to know that my stock analysis was correct. Now I have to say about this though, a big part of it is because the stock market as a whole has been doing really well. So if you see Royal Caribbean's doing well, it's up about 12%. Well, most stocks right now are doing well on the up and up. So I can't say, and it's 100% just an amazing prediction and analysis by me, the market has been good to me and it has done very well over the past three months. Overall, I will say I see a lot of growth in this company. I see a lot of potential and I see that it's very undervalued right now. Even at Royal Caribbean's current stock price at $120, I still feel like it's an undervalued stock which has the potential to go up significantly over the next few years. So I'm gonna hold on to my stock. I'm not gonna be selling it. It's gonna stay in my portfolio for years to come. Because here's the thing. I like being a Royal Caribbean investor. I love cruises, I love the cruise industry, and I think it's just gonna continue to get better and better. I personally believe that we should be investing in companies and stocks if we do choose to invest in stocks that we believe in, right? Companies that we know that we use We've done our research and we know we'll do well. So that's why for me, Royal Caribbean is perfect because all my life, cruises are the vacation and choice for my family. We live really close to the port, plus cruises are an economical vacation option. It just makes sense. That's why I really think that Royal Caribbean is a great stock choice for me and something that I'm really excited to have in my portfolio for years and years to come. Especially, there's a really nice dividend too. I can't believe a semester has gone by so fast. It's crazy how fast time goes by sometimes. Also something I want to talk about is how much I enjoy my family reunion cruise. Over 60 family members together, and there's so many family members who I never see. 
It was a really big treat to actually get to hang out with them. It's so much fun. Make sure to go ahead and leave a like and a comment for what you want to see next. If you like these stock analysis and you like seeing what's in my portfolio, make sure to let me know. I'll do more of them. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe because I post new videos every single Friday. And I'll see you guys soon.